Hi guys. Oh, I've had a bit of a quiet day at home. Well, I've been sorting videos out, so I've been uh, busy making videos. I've got a few um, out of the way that I've been wanting to do for a few days, so... But, uh, decided I'd, uh... Excuse me, just one minute. So, nope, still haven't got it. Bit of dry skin. I decided, um, as I got to pop out in a minute, but, uh, Put the camera on first. Um, take that recycle bin down because I've got a load, another load to go in it. So I'll take that with me. Uh, better swap the washing out. I might as well chuck it on the bed actually. It'll be sorted. I think in a little while I'll put the. Um, CD back on that I was listening to. I might even put the radio on, one or the other. And I'll uh, have a bit of a shift around in here and get some uh, stuff shifted. Also, I just want to get this area cleared and that under the cabinet. He says, and I may put my really old and peculiar VCR under there as well, if I can fit it. That thing weighs a bloody ton. All it's got to do is play a bloody type of cassette, and it weighs a ton. I think, if memory serves correct, that was released in 1983, I think. Somewhere around there, anyway. Right, what else have I got to do? When I can find it, I've got that cordless screwdriver to tear apart. I'll probably use the other camera for, because I've got some batteries in there. Even the switch has seized on. The switch won't move. So, yeah. This is definitely past... Are these screws? I think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a huh. I might be able to take it apart. Um, when I figure out how, I'll have to figure out how before I turn the camera on. There's what look like four screws, but I'm not sure if they're hexagon head or what until I... Uh, Take a closer look. I've just been going through all the CDs that I decided to keep. The ones I threw um, were either far too badly scratched or just didn't interest me. But uh, aside from that, most of these are playing. There's one down there I've thrown out. What was the floor? What's this one? Oh, that one's too badly scratched and one I don't like. A scooter tune. Do his tray as well. Boss Cat's tray needs to do it. Yeah, you do. Do that in a little while. Bless him, that's not nice. I might this evening have a little fiddle around on here. got the new taller um, transmitter, thingy, TV transmitter there. I'll probably stick that up over the back, I think. Out of the way. Might get some plates in there. get some models up there out of the way as well because I really <laughs> I need those shelves done so this weekend 
if and when I go to mum's, I'm going to take the shells and get them cut. Bring them home. And at least when I get paid next week, I can, um... Get the brackets. Those ones on that shelf up there, the top one. They're too small. I'm going to need larger ones like these ones underneath. These two. I could get fancy wooden ones, but I don't know where to go to get those in town, and they'll probably cost more than the metal ones, so. I don't mind looking at metal ones. It's only got to go on the wall and. You no. Know, support a shelf. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Should have someone collecting a BMX later. Should have. Private messaging me on uh, Facebook earlier. Well, I don't know when he's coming. <laughs> Alright. Not a battery. I think the battery's alright for a bit. Um. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. I better go get something to eat. I had one heck of a sharp frost last night. I thought it was looking a bit frosty outside when I went to bed last night. And I woke up this morning. I've actually got... I don't know if I'd call it a peculiar sleeping pattern. I'm sort of going to bed at like 2, maybe 3 o'clock in the morning, waking up at 9. and I've just got that routine at the moment. I don't want to lay in bed and... I'm not getting tired until, like, around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, so... I don't know. I seem to be running and functioning fine. You say, what am I getting? One, two, three, four, five... Six, maybe seven hours sleep-ish a night. I don't think it's actually technically enough for an adult, but I seem to be doing okay at the minute. Really careful, you just sit on that board. He has actually been asleep on here. Probably because of the um, sun, he's probably been catching a few sun, a few rays. Ooh. Did I just give you a static shot, or did you get that off the chair? I heard the snap. I didn't feel anything though. Shouldn't have me, I've got boots on though. No, it was me, because you just got another one. Through the ear hole. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm only stroking his back. That is, I don't know where he's been lying, but it's him. I do this. I'm just going to do it again. Yeah? <laughs> I'm managing to charge myself up with static by stroking the cat and then discharging myself through the cat's ear roll. No, I didn't do it that time. No, it's not doing it with the left hand. Only the right hand. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Weird. Weird. <laughs> I just realised I've got to go move that laundry and get out the front door. A bit of a dumbass place to go and put it, but I was trying to find um, a clean pair of pants and a clean tea cloth. Because uh, I took a photo of my modified transmitter tower. And uh, I took it in front of the monitor, and of course I turned the monitor off for privacy and whatnot. And uh, even though I'm showing it on camera, so it's a bit pointless really, isn't it? Duh, never mind. There's nothing showing on screen anyway. But anyway, because I turned the monitor off, the flash on the camera showed up all the dirty fingerprints and everything else on the screen. And of course they all picked up on that, so uh, I've been cleaning the monitor. I've been meaning to do it for ages because it was filthy. And uh, I just thought that was a good... Uh, as good a time as any to clean it. 
Right. I don't want to check my pockets because I uh, put clean pants on, but I haven't taken my keys and my wallet out of the other pair. in the right pocket. Wallet should be in the left. There we go. That can go up the corner to be washed. I always do that. I don't know why. I always have done. I've always had wallet in the left. Keys in the right. And always the front pockets, never the back pockets. Oh, I'm now ready. A bit of fluff or something just in there. Gone. It's gone. Cat hair or something on there. Oh dear. Yeah, top place to lay. I'm nuts. There's a habit of doing that. Well, he'll walk and passed me and then just flopped down on the floor like that right in front of me and the number of times I've nearly stood on him because he's done that it's a, bit of a, it's a good way of getting you know your, your human's attention isn't it you don't care you're just, you're just going to lay on the floor and uh, wash yourself aren't you you missed a bit. Oi. What about the other ear? Nemo. Nemo. Oi. Don't ignore me. Other ear. What about this one? Yeah, look at that one. You ain't cleaned that one. Oh, actually, it does feel a bit damp, so you probably have. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I just shocked him again, right on the nose. What the hell? I haven't changed anything. This is just him. He's been lying somewhere and he's charged himself out. I hope that's passing it on to me. Because I haven't done anything apart from sit in that chair, put my boots on, and give him a cuddle. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and get something to eat, so I'll be back later on. Okay, so. Bollard's moved for a reason, because uh, I've cleaned out uh, his litter tray. That was getting rather, <laughs> rather um, smelly and filthy down there. To the point he started to flick it all over the carpet. I just forget about it half the time. Until I start smelling it, and I'm like, mm, that needs doing. Um, anyway, I've had something to eat as well. My billet is through. Uh, further away or closer? Too close? You decide. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being random. Anyway, on the way into town, I found a parcel leaning up against the door. It actually fell in the door when I opened it. It's the person that left it leaning up against the door, which is odd because normally he knocks on the door. And if it was you know, too big for the letterbox, they normally take it back to the post office. But no, I didn't hear no knock at the door. I heard the letters come through the letterbox. But uh didn't hear no knock. But uh, never mind, I've been waiting for this package well. I thought he posted it Saturday, but according to the um, date on the postage stamp, it was posted on the 8th of this month. So we're only, what were we, the 11th? We're only a few days ago. But uh, he probably forgot to tell me. <laughs> it's not a problem. It got here, that's the main thing. That's what I'm worried about. Worried about. Um, this is actually the second attempt I've made. I've, there, there, there. 
try again. This is the second attempt at making this part of the video. Because uh, I don't mind telling you what town I live in. This box had my full address on it, and I don't want my full address out there. Although it probably wouldn't be hard to bloody find it, with, you know, with all this modern technology and whatnot. I'm doing something wrong there, I'm cutting towards me. Naughty. Shouldn't cut towards yourself, you should always cut away. I always like to cut the boxes so I can reuse them. Quite a large bag full there, yep, you can reuse the box. Yeah, this is a that connects I've been waiting for. Ooh, got plenty of tires and uh, is a fair bit in here actually, but I don't know if I'm going to get it in my big blue box. It's <laughs> pretty much full. Just trying to keep the um, Lego separate. I may even find some bits of Lego in here, because I've had that happen before. Not just from when I've bought Connects from this guy, but when I've bought it from other locations, I've always found the odd bit of Lego in there. It's the same with Lego. I always find the odd bit of Connects in the Lego. Oh, there some Connects tyres that thick, are they Connects? No, they're Lego tyres. What the hell did these tires come off of? Told you I'd find some Lego in it. I only know it's Lego because it's got Lego stamped on the side. 24 by 43. What is that meant to be? A makeshift uh, tire size or something? I haven't even seen a Lego set that tape tires that big. Cool. I think there weren't some more of those, isn't there? <laughs> yep. Nope, I thought that was a Lego wheel, that's a Connect wheel. Oh, Hang on a minute. Another Lego wheel. <laughs> I knew it. As soon as I tipped it out, I just knew I would find some Lego in here. I can't see any more. You see, most... Um, that black box of connects I got from the recycle center it was mostly just bars, but this is actually a good mix of all sorts. It's probably my most expensive source for this stuff, but he's only earning a living like we all are, so there's a quite quite a deal of it here. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to go in my box. I might just go grab the box, actually. I'll give you a better view of it up here. There we go. It's got a nice um, pile of Lego. 30, 30 quid posted. Plus whatever for the bus. I can't remember what you wanted for the bus now. <laughs> but it's going to... Um, Give me the final price and whatnot closer to the time. That's um, brilliant when you got contact for this sort of stuff. He um, always ends up getting Lego in at least, I don't know, once every couple of months or so. And I am his um, usual um, first sort of go to contact. I suppose, you know. He's glad he's got someone like me that he knows he can sell it to. So it works both ways, really, doesn't it? He, he's got contact he can sell it to, and I've got a contact I can buy it from. <laughs> Best we both um, got that. Uh, what do you call it? Advantage? No, I don't think advantage is the right word, but you know what I mean. It's um, beneficial for the pair of us.
Yeah, let's go and get that. Uh, blue box. Uh, ah. <laughs> Maybe I should have a clean up in that corner first and get that corner sorted out. Oh. I still haven't heard anything from that guy that wanted that BMX, but uh, Lidl have got some really cheap LED bulbs. Now, if this bollard there had a screw-in lamp holder, which I could probably modify it to have one, I was going to put that remote control LED in it. Then I could have a funky, <laughs> a funky remote controlled light up LED, light up LED bollard. Um, so if Lidl hasn't. Because what Lidl used to do, they don't do it anymore, but what they used to do, because they change, you know, their department bit, if you want to call it that, where they sell, you know, household bits and pieces, they change it, I think, once, twice a week. And they used to, if anything didn't sell that, you should just get taken out anyway. But now they sort of move it around and they just leave it out there until most of it sells. And I've still got quite a few of those remote controlled LED bulbs left. So if I can, I would like to get another one. And I've also got for four quid the same not remote controlled LED bulbs, but the same sort of brightness as that one. And they're on offer at I think they're two pounds something each or two for four pounds. So I was actually gonna kit that with LEDs at that price. Just some cheap, you know dim light, soft light I suppose you'd call it to create a bit of mood lighting that would um, work well up there I think they're not spot bulbs but it doesn't matter I've still got to redo the video um, demonstrating that bulb actually we can do that later we'll take it out now I'll do a separate video on it I keep thinking the, gla the um, dome on this is glass but it's not, it's plastic well, it's got a the other bulbs have got the same sort of uh, top. I could go get a couple now, but really, because Mum bless her has loaned me a little bit, I really should use that for food. Which is why I was banking on this BMX being um, purchased. I don't know if he's changed his mind, got busy or what, but. but uh, if that had sold, then I'd have gone and got three LED bulbs for that light fitting up there. And if I can't get another one of those remote controlled LEDs, I'll just fit that one to the bollard. Because I think that would be rather funky. <laughs> be one hell of a funky novelty lamp, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, the only, the only reason I had the bulb up there is because I've made that video talking about it and I've lost it. I don't know if I've accidentally deleted it or what I may have done. I very I very may, very well may have I can't get my words out. I very well may have deleted the video on accident. Um my stepdad's fish tank. His um some of his LEDs in that are remote controlled as well. Because um, he's for the lighting, because he's doing a marine tank, he's bought LED strip and he's used brand new sections of plastic guttering, which I think in the US you call it an eaves trough. A little bit that goes underneath the edge of a roof and collects all the water. Anyway, he's went down to the he's bought a couple of those, stuck down the LED strips. He's done one section full of blue and the other section is white with the remote control LED strips in it as well so you can change the colour, you can have red, green different shades, different brightnesses etc et <coughs> so he's actually got a larger remote than mine but it, it, it pretty much does the same thing as my LED bulb but as an LED strip instead <laughs> so it's nothing to the remote really is on it in his heck. Be careful I don't lose it, but I'm really obsessed with lights, aren't I? But, uh, 
when I'm just chilling out, you know, that light up there is quite harsh, and, you know, it just fills up the whole room with light, and sometimes when I'm relaxed, you know, I'd like a nice light to relax by, or something like that, but they're a little bit too bright, so... I figured maybe three up there, those low wattage LEDs, I think they're like 1.5 watt LED bulbs. 100 and 105, 110 lumens, I think it's said on the pack. I keep waiting for that buzzer to ring. Something like that, you know. Pretty much the same wattage rating as the remote controlled one. It's not, m well, I think they might even be a little bit dimmer. I can't. I've thrown the bloody package out now. I had a clean up on there, but. So I can't even read the details out. Ooh, stupid me. Uh, Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in the bedroom. I'm going to start tackling that corner. I might as well do something while I wait for this guy if he turns up. I'm too fast if he doesn't, you know. People get waylaid and held up and whatnot, so. I will take a photo of these big Lego tars as well. They don't feel like the usual rubber either. They feel a little bit foamy. I don't even think I've got any hubs to put them on. I've never seen any of that bloody big either. Look at them. Huge. Right, I'll take a photo of them. Right, I'll disappear and do that and uh, I'll come back later. Scratch that idea. It ain't going to go under there. It's too long and I forgot I've got the TV up that corner. And if I take the TV out, I'll then have nowhere to put that, so... Oh, that's typical, isn't it? <laughs> okay, the BMX was just picked up. That was t I knew that would happen as soon as I picked up the camera. I thought, I thought to myself, I'll just film that little segment explaining why I can't actually put that corner, not corner cabinet, TV cabinet under the bench in the bedroom and the door buzzer goes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> scrap here. And there. Yeah, it's not going to work, so um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a tidy up in here. I've got a couple of things I need to take down out of the way. Like that. I'll take the other one down as well. Because I've got my way to put it. Now I could convert it into a shelf and perhaps... Hmm. Hmm. Good. If I bring these forwards, I could stand them side by side in there. I don't know. I wonder if that's going to work. There for a minute. There's some room. I want that remote because that's for TV. Power adapter from one of my uh, external hard drives. Video card. And a button off of a Dell. What is it? Every time I hear the name Dell now, or the term a Dell, I always think of the female singer Adele. But you could say I was pushing Adele's buttons. <laughs> I had to, that was just there for the taking. Uh, right, so, for both of these boards, hopefully I can turn the cables away. And I can check on the floor. I need another um, PlayStation 1 dual shot controller. I've only got the one. The other one is just a standard PS1 controller. Okay. Ready. Ready. 
from the upside down, so we've got the lid up top. Actually, what I could do, I could cut a couple of notches in this, just for the cables. Unless, no, I can get them around. Right. Okay, so what's, what's preventing that from going up against the wall? Oh. Oh, I left the handle on there, the dipstick. But yeah, that would be the, um, my general idea, and perhaps if we could just shuffle that a little, I could get that one in place. Like I said, I may have to rearrange the consoles a little bit on the top here. Uh, not unless, like I said, I cut a notch in the bottom of these just to fit the cables through. And again, if I can get them to go far enough back, so I may not have to. Right. Well, I think that's going to work. And I'll have some extra storage shelves up the top here. Right. So. I don't know if I'm going to get in there with my um, cordless screwdriver. Um, let's go and grab the clerk. I'll actually I'll tell you what. Let's give the Makita a whirl, shall we? Because it's smaller. Now I was going to give this to my stepdad because it's nice, a nice small, light drill. And he is often doing DIY and his is getting past it. His is actually getting very past it. <laughs> the handle's falling apart. I will keep those. Because they'll be very handy little self tappers. My stepdad, you never know, may want the um uh may want the um thingies. The doodads. Ah, I need a pair of plasters because I've got a couple of dowels I need to take out of the thing on there or snap off one or the other. Um I swear I saw a pair. I knew I had a pair lying somewhere. Yeah, so the bike's gone. <laughs> he said it'll be used up on the skate park. So that's probably why they wouldn't want to spend too much on one if it's gonna get bashed around up there. But the guy's on my Facebook anyway, so Right, so I'll just snap that off. Just uh, do what? Screw them. Put you there. And then that one there. Now, let's have a look. See if we can get flush against the wall, shall we? I was right, the gap at the back there, because this bench doesn't go flush up against the wall, it's big enough for the cables to come through. So, I can go up and over with the other one once I strip all the handles and that off. It should just go straight in there, I shouldn't have to move the TV, but I think I will just rotate it at least. So it was sort of sitting at a weird angle. These cartridges in. Naughty. <laughs> right. Drag the other one out. I 
on myself. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll find you another one. <laughs> no, I'll find one up. Right. So, in theory, it's got a bit of a cable. It should stand there, but they don't stand perfectly level for some reason. But that's what that's going to look like. You know, I've got a couple of shelves there that I could put some things on. Some PS2 games would look good up there, actually, wouldn't they? may have to take those uh, plastic brackets off because they're going to get in the way. Because uh, uh, they're screwed in here anyway, so I think they're just there as extra support. In fact, that one's not even screwed in at the back there. So, yeah, I will take those off and we can get the PS1 game stacked in there. So, I'll do that and uh, I'll return in a little... There we go, they're all in place. Oh, getting there slowly. Oh, that reminds me, I completely forgot. A friend of mine's got an, a um, computer case I can have. Um, I must get down and pick that up at some point. Because um, I'll probably transfer all my Windows 7 guts into that one. Uh, and possibly put my other Windows XP guts into this one, so I can uh, have the um, gaming XP machine here instead. Pardon me. <clears throat> um, I think that would be a better idea, as this is a sort of a I don't really want to call it retro, because some of it isn't quite that old, but I suppose I could call it the retro gaming corner. There's a few things I may move around, and there's a few other old, vin old bits. And what was that? It sounded like a bell rattling. Anyway, there's a few bit other odds and sods on here. But, uh, Gradually adding to it. Gradually adding to it. Um, suppose I could get rid of one or two VCRs. <laughs> I don't think I quite need that many. Barely use the one I've got under the bed. I've got a VCR DVD combo under the bed. Just because it was out of the way, that's why I put it under there. Um. But that bottom two VCR and DVD player is connected to the Sony VAIO desktop machine down there. Um, I don't know, maybe one day I will get rid of them. But uh, I think I'll keep them just for the time being. Maybe not on there. I've got nothing else that I want to put on here anyway, so they'll, they're all right there for the time being. Oh, oh dear. Oh. I think I might need the toilet again. What is it? Every time I put this camera on. Right, turn the light off because I'm done in here for the time being. One thing I wanted to do... Now that this thing has had a day or two to dry out, I can untangle the cable. Yes. Tell you what, I'll zip to the toilet, untangle this, and then we'll plug it in. We'll see if it works or goes bang. <laughs> I know it's got no clips on the end, but I can soon probably buy some on eBay or something to stick on there. So, uh, right. I've got the meter hooked up to the ends of the wires. So obviously if that detects a voltage, then I know it's working. Um, we got? we got boost start, fast charge. Yeah. So it is meant for um, sta starting cars as well. It doesn't... It's 
And he's got no on the bottom, no on the back. Oh, something written on the back. So full of muck. Lead acid batteries. It tells you how to do it. I'm going to lose some battery caps. Well, they don't have battery caps anymore. Anyway, we'll plug it in. We'll see what it does. Will it go pop or what? No, it is working. It's kicking out 10.1 volts. Slightly more volts. Volts. Ouch. Volts on the um, boost start set. A very slight hum coming from it, but it's good. At least I know it works, so I'll have a little gander on eBay later and uh, see if I can find some clips for it. Well, if it's only going to cost me a few quid for a couple of uh, crocodile clips for it, then I might as well get them. Alright. So at least I know that one works. It's always handy to have a couple. I've got the old vintage one in the cupboard that still works. Right, what do I do with that other piece of shit? We'll see if this piece of shit works as well, shall we? We need a good clean if it does work. Oh, well, at least I haven't got to untangle the cables in this one. We'll get this connects cleared at some point. Right. Let's see right there. This has got a short power lead on it, so I'm going to put it further over here. If it doesn't work, I could take the amp meter off it and use it for low voltage amps. It's just got the remnants of um, something. That was on the end there. Well, I just want to connect the neutral up. Uh, I'll have to hold it on there. Friggin' lead still isn't long enough. Bloody light cable out of the Right, that's on. Plugged in. I'm going to have to dangle that that way a bit. Crank that around to 20 volts. One plus lead. And we'll stick it. Ah, 11.4, about 11.50. 11.5 volts, and we'll get there eventually. So yeah, that's a working one as well. Yeah. Better unplug it before I drop both these leads on the floor, otherwise we'll have some pretty sparks. And this that one's longer. Maybe does this one have a rather short lead on it? Uh, it's not the original plug either, because that is a lot newer than the plug. See, there's no insulated pins on it. Yeah. Cool. I bet this one was really dirt cheap when that was new. What is it? Supercharger. Made in England. What I've got made in England in um, large letters for, I don't know. Hmm, I might still open up this one just to have a look inside. Yay! They work. Actually, out of two, this is the one I really wanted anyway, so I'm glad that one worked. It's the best one out of the two. Flashy lights. Yum. Bye. That's the 
place. The British plod. What was I coming? Oh, yeah, that's what I was coming through for. What day is it? Thursday night? No, nope, not surprised. I'm hearing them on a Thursday night. <laughs> Someone's up to no good or a domestic or something like that. Actually. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll have to talk to you because I've got my hands full. <laughs> if it was a domestic, there'd be more than one cop car. I usually send them in pairs. And for obvious reasons. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Right for the fact it would go everywhere, I would just get hold of it and just go. Boop. But knowing me, most of it will end up on the floor, not where I want it to go. Well, my goal was to fill this box. Goal accomplished. Really, all I want to do is just to fill this box with connects. I'm not big gum connects, but I used to love it when I was younger. I used to build these huge, great big bloody cars with all opening doors and hoods and trunks and whatnot. They're all open and seats and steering wheel. But then I'd push them down the stairs <laughs> and watch them crash. Yeah, I've always had a bit of a destructive streak. The only problem is I'm limited to what I can destruct up here. I was on a farm like mum is, out in the middle of nowhere, that would be bloody great, but I'm not. I'm in the top floor of a block of flats. <laughs> Overflowing, I'm gonna have to sort something out another day. I don't really want to fill another box, but uh, I'm gonna end up filling yet another box. It's good stuff to play with and to build with. It's the only reason I like it because I can build with it. Try and get hold of it, it just moves everywhere on this surface. It's horrible. It's worse than Lego. Oh. I did lock the bike up tonight, yeah. Yeah, I did. Did that when I uh, took a bag of rubbish down. So I could sit up here and kick my boots off and chill. The other thing is I've still got my boots on. <laughs> I haven't quite got as far as taking my boots off yet. Anyway, I'm going to finish uh, putting this lot in here out of the way. Yeah, I've really found a home in the tool cupboard in the hallway for um, the battery chargers. Mind you, I could put them to a test, because uh, I do have a couple of batteries that need charging. Well, put them to the test when I've got some clips for this one. Uh, I don't think there's any in the workshop over at Mum's, otherwise I'd have pinched them. <laughs> uh, I want a home for that as well. Actually, I've got to stand that under there. Well, it is pretty much like the office corner, I suppose. Hmm. I'm going to move this XP 
interior of the bedroom. And what am I going to put in there? I might as well put the Windows 7 in the lounge then. Because the XP gear will um, fit into that case. Yeah. If I'm not helping my friend tomorrow, then I may actually see if I can pop down at my friends and pick that case up. My other friend, that is. They're not the same friend. <laughs> Uh, that's something I could do tomorrow. If I remember rightly, I don't think the case is actually going to go under here, though. Which is fine, because I'm going to make a Windows 7 PC that's going to go in the lounge anyway. Actually, I could just swap the guts around in these cases, but... Nah, I'll have the other case. Suppose you want feeding. Right then. Right, I'm going to finish chucking this in this box. Uh, I I can tuck the connect box. Oh, I know where I can tuck it. Sit it under there. I don't know. I've got plenty of room under that table. I might as well get, um, get tucked under there. Yeah, I'll do that. Right. Talk to you later. Right. It's tw nearly 20 to, uh, to 12, rather. At night. Obviously. If it was that dark at lunchtime, then I think I would worry. <laughs> uh, I haven't done a lot this evening. I've just chilled about the flat. It feels, feels so warm up here. And blah, 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 blah. Get my teeth in as well, that might help. Heating on. No. It's ow, so warm. Oh, well. Oh, I was right with that connect. <laughs> I can't even close the lid now. Um, but when I get a chance, I'm going to drop it down the back of that table and slide it underneath. That's the only way I can get under there. It won't go through that gap. Not with the lid like that, anyway. Not unless... Yeah. It might, if I do that. But then what's my luck that I'm going to tip it as I put it under there? Should we have a laugh? Should we see if I can get it under? Yeah. My luck usually do, uh, my luck usually dictates that I tip it over and make a lovely mess. No, I might as well not go in the recycle bin. What the hell have I put in here? Is that rubbish? Yes, I believe that most of that is rubbish. But me being lazy me, I still haven't, uh, I still haven't uh, put a bin bag in the bin yet. I'm just going to, uh, help so I put the friggin' batteries in the thing so they actually make connection. The batteries charged up for the other camera. Put them around the right way so they don't go bang. That'd be a lovely wake-up call in the middle of the night, wouldn't it? These go on bang. Right. Um, did I switch both switches off, or did I just switch the one off? Just the one. I'll put those ones on in a bit as well. But by 10 o'clock in the morning, maybe a little longer, they'll be ready. Ready, oh. On top of the shop. Go in there. I need to clean this crap hole of the kitchen up at some point. 
Ha <laughs> ha, it's too dark, you can't see it. That's just as well, because I can. <laughs> um. Oh, well, it looks like my memory card is nearly full anyway. I've only got about six minutes left. Ish. Oh well. This is going to be the last part for the video anyway. I'll put the radar, not the radar, the transmitter up there. I presume in the set it was meant to be a TV transmitter, as it's got stickers on it that says TV6. So I presume that's what it's meant to be. You know, I just extended the tower so it's a bit taller, so it's more transmittery like. Anyway. I want to work on this area, but I can't because I've got all those cars parked in the way. Me classic truck rescue in uh, Lego form. <laughs> Shift all these cars. Actually, most of them are trucks or similar things, apart from the helicopter. Two helicopters. Uh, we works truck trailer is tipped over. This thing actually take a charge. I've left it on charge for quite a while now. Like two days. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I think. Did it? Insert SIM card. I don't want to insert SIM card. I want to use the other Nokia. Stupid thing. Has this gone dead yet? Wakey wakey! Rise and shine! I think I've got the wrong tip on the charge cable now. I don't know where the charge, where the um, tips are gone. Otherwise I'd try charging it again and uh, see if I can have better luck the second time round. If not, it will get pulled apart! It might not work now. Uh, Got my CD sorted out, that is one thing I did do. Got them stacked in the racks. I've got more room up on the shelf. I've just got a stack of um, empty CD cases the other side of those drawers, uh, which I may move. I may put them up here actually, because those floppy disk drives I got to go through to the bedroom at some point. Yeah. So it'll be easier to get to those drawers, and it'll probably look a bit tidy because it looks a, it looks a little odd, not flush up against the side because you can't actually see the um, the um, blank blank CD cases, the empty CD cases. Which I might stack some of these in. I don't know yet. I must have got some DVDs over there to sort through. That's what's in that stack there, if I remember rightly. Anyway, I'm going to be a job for tomorrow. As long as my friend don't um, ring me and ask for a hand, of course. Anyway, I'll call it it for this video. Oh, I've put that broken um, tablet up on eBay. 99p start bid. Someone might bid on it for parts. It's still got good case, good screen, good battery. You know, there's a few spares in there. So, we'll see. I think it was a seven day listing. I'll have to double check. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye!